ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए रिले बेस्ड ऑन एन ऑफ सर्कट आर सिंपली वी कैन से दैट हाउ वी कैन यूज ए रिले विद इन द मल्टी सिम इज वी ऑल नो दैट रिले यूज टू ऑन एंड मेक ऑफ सर्टन हाई पावर एप्लियंसेस because our microcontrollers and simple semiconductor devices cannot operate huge voltages and huge amount of currents so first we have to make a simple circuit and then we will run it out okay so first we will take our relay we will click on all group and we will write here relay relay so here we have one virtual one a relay okay so we have taken this one okay after it we need one dip switch one in order to control this relay okay now this is our dip switch and the next thing is our led we can take this one or led green okay we we are taking led green led and in order to operate all the circuit we need dc power so we can we can go for dc underscore power okay so this is our dc power in the last we need ground now this is our ground we need to connect this ground with the 12 volt also we need to connect the switch with the 12 volt battery now there are four terminals of this relay the two terminals on which it is written k actually this is the coil terminals these are the coil terminals so we have to connect them out with the 12 volt after it after it we need to we need to attach the 12 volt battery with the led but as we know that led is used to operate on very low voltages in multi sim e1 they are not supposed to tolerate 2 volts so we will just use 1.8 volt is their operational voltage Okay, now our circuit is okay. Now what will happen actually? When we will press the switch, the circuit will be completed on the controller coil side. The coil will be energized, and the normal open connection of this relay will become closed. That is normal, open, and force closed, or energized closed. When the coil is going to energize. both the connections are going to close so our led will become on and when coil is deenergized or we can say off so this these connections will become off so now we will run it now we can see that it, okay it is taking a bit of time in starting simulation so we can see that our led is okay wait no problem we will go for 2.2 volts okay and then we will run our simulation
Now you can see that on 2.2 volt our green LED is working properly. When we are energizing the relay coil, these two connections make the LED circuit complete and then in return LED will become on. You can see that now and you can also see this sign on the relay like a diagonal cutting sign. So it says that the connections are closed. So now you hopefully got the concept of how to use the relay within the multisim. So thanks for visiting our channel.